guys, what's going on? The real G Nick here bringing you guys another video. And today's video guys will be going over the idea or an idea I've seen that I think can actually work. And I can help take over YouTube and put their backs against the wall and really make them have to change their policies and really see what they can do about it. Now what I'm talking about is a possible combination of VidMe and Amazon to help beat YouTube at what they do. And I'll talk about that uh, throughout this video. So if you guys are interested, please stay around. Just want to give a quick shout out, guys, to Musical Antihero. I actually saw this video from him where he talked about this as well. And kind of gave me the inspiration for this video. Uh, so if you guys want to check him out, please check out the link in the description to his channel. Really awesome content over there, whether it's gaming, technology, anything gaming news related, anything like that, guys. Really go check him out. Awesome stuff over there. So with that, guys, let's get into it. As we all know, Google owns YouTube. Google and YouTube are the most monopolized companies right now that we have around the internet. YouTube is basically the mass production or mass user base of actual YouTube content creation. Basically meaning that they have the biggest upload service and have the most amount of people watching their videos and stuff like that. While Google is actually the biggest search engine as we all know. Now obviously there is Bing and Yahoo, but they don't really compete against Google. Whenever you search something, you most likely use Google. Along with this, Android is pretty much uses Google uh, for anyway, so those are on your phones all together as well. Along with this, the fact that Google owns YouTube is that they can help kind of skew the search results, and whenever you search something, you more times than not actually find something of a YouTube video rather than any other upload service that is out there currently. And recently, there is the apocalypse that's been happening over the past couple months where people are actually getting demonetized, age-restricted, and overall just really censored and not being able to make the content they want. And or if they do make the content they want, then they actually get demonetized and they start losing more money than they should. Because of this, many YouTube creators are actually leaving YouTube and joining Twitch and making sure that they can stream over there, stream the games they love and do what they want but also be able to make some money from it to try to keep themselves afloat financially. If you think about who owns Twitch, Amazon owns Twitch. And Amazon is probably one of the biggest companies out right now as far as what they're doing and the scale about what they're doing between the shipping and the actual Amazon site, the whole whole food situation that's happening, and now with them owning Twitch, they have a lot of money and a lot of grasp around relations of any sort of content or entertainment before i talk further into that let's talk about vidme now if you guys don't know what vidme is is a small company that is actually a upload service where you can post any kind of videos whether it's gaming uh makeup fashion vlogs anything like that so kind of like youtube is it's basically that kind of service where it allows you to upload videos and you can be follow you can put them in the albums which are basically a playlist you can uh have links to your twitch and your twitter and things like that you can have your own thumbnail stuff like that it's a really good service and it works really well Along with this, if you enjoy a channel that you watch, you can also tip them per video and you can also sub to them with actual money. Because of this, it can be a really good service for making money and doing what you love as far as what you're doing on YouTube and transform it over here. They have sections based on what's hot as far as videos. They have their own creator picks and stuff like that where you can see who's hot right now and who they really want to have a spotlight for as far as content creators in the community. Kind of how Twitch does it with their creator spotlight on their Twitch page every day. Now, that's kind of a small little thing of VidMe. Now, again, the reason you probably haven't heard of it is because they don't have a big searchability. I have posted a couple videos on VidMe. I'm not really posting too many as much as I would, but I am posting some content on there, and it is hard to get noticed on VidMe due to just how small it is compared to YouTube in the hub and with the search correlation of it. What that means is, is YouTube is just the biggest company out there, and they have so many content creators and so many viewers that it's really hard to compete against when it comes to a small company like this. You really need a lot of viewers who don't really make too much content, but mainly just watch as much content as possible to help other content creators grow and promote their content and then also have their content be very easily seen and also expand exponentially. You also need content creators that focus more on just making videos and things like that to help viewers find something to watch to help them grow. And it's just a vicious cycle of having viewers be able to watch content and having content creators focus on making videos but also still watching some at the same time. It's just kind of how it goes with services like this. We're going to go back to what I said about Twitch. So Twitch is its own upload service. Now not many people use it and it's honestly not something that I feel like a lot of people know about or really take seriously. I made a few videos on there and it is nice, but it's really hard to get availability on there as in it really only pertains to the people that are actually following you and not really being able to be shown um, worldwide or to other new people who may be coming across your channel by accident. It's not like something where you could search up a video and find something, you know, on Twitch. Oh, here's a video on, you know, a tutorial for Destinies to Leviathan Raid, something like that. But on YouTube, you'll see those instead. So with this, what if VidMe got bought out by Amazon, the owners of Twitch? What could happen here is something phenomenal that could help not only Twitch, but help out people who are coming over from YouTube and really give VidMe the opportunity to take over YouTube. Here's how. If Amazon buys out 
Vidme, and they keep the developers there who are keeping the site nice and tidy and keeping it clean, then you could have also Twitch developers helping them out as far as making Twitch be easily exported over to Vidme. What this means is, you could have Twitch followers carry over to Vidme, Twitch subs carry over to Vidme, and Twitch donation links and everything like that carry over to Vidme. Along with this, you'll be able to have Streamlabs be able to help out with Vidme as well. You'll be able to have correlation with that and make sure it's all working together as one big unit. For example, let's say you have a you have a bunch of clips in uh, Twitch. You can have them be all exported to Vidme to show your best clips and have a little bit of a playlist for all your funniest or best clips you have. Now, obviously, you probably want the broadcast to allow them to be automatically exported. But if they do allow it, then you'll be able to have all your clips exported directly to Vidme so people can see the funny moments in your streams. Along with this, you can also post your own videos, and all the followers who found you through specifically Vidme and or Twitch can now see all your content that you post and really be able to see what you have to offer. The reason I think this could work so well is because with Vidme having the ability of Amazon backing them as far as money goes, which is a lot of money, and having Twitch be able to back them as far as content creation goes, developers, and overall exportation and having to make it so easy is really simple to be able to use. And speaking of being able to use, Vidme is very easy to use to upload, it's very quick, very simple, and it's a very easy and quick thing to do. Which does make it a little bit better than YouTube in that sense as far as the upload service or upload status goes. Along with this, if a lot of YouTubers go over to Twitch, they'll be able to see Vidme as a content creator service and see what it can do. And if they can see what it can do, they can start uploading over there and bring over their YouTube subscribers over to Vidme as well, along with Twitch. So it would just be a vicious cycle of taking from YouTube as far as the subscriber and viewers go and bringing it over to Twitch and then eventually Vidme. Along with this, obviously, if Twitch is partnered with Vidme and or co-creator with Vidme, they're going to be able to promote Vidme as much as possible and really shed the light on that as well through Twitter, Discord, and other services that they have on social media. All in all, I think that Vidme could have a huge opportunity if they are bought out by a company like Amazon who has a direct correlation with Twitch who can really utilize that streaming service to upload service very smoothly. Because as we know, with the YouTube streaming service, it's not very good for most uh, people who actually use it. It does work, but it's not as... I'd say detailed or as influential as other services like Twitch or any other services like Mixer, Beam, things like that. All in all, guys, this is kind of my thoughts on the whole situation on why Vidme plus Twitch could actually dominate YouTube. Now, if you guys disagree with me, please let me know in the comments why you disagree or why you don't think this will ever happen. Obviously, what needs to happen is Amazon needs to buy Vidme. Now, whether or not that will happen, who knows, probably won't. But this is kind of my ideas and my thoughts on what could happen if that were to happen as far as them being bought out. If you guys do agree that this could be a good solution, please let me in the comments down below why you think so. Would you want this to happen? Do you not want it to happen? I just want to hear your guys' thoughts on this because I think this could be a good discussion. and something we need to talk about further because right now, with YouTube being the way it is, it has no competition. It has no real reason to actually change their apocalypse that much or as drastically as they need to. If Vidme and Twitch could put this all together within a year and really strive for this, they can honestly honestly destroy YouTube in that sense, put the backs against the wall, and for honestly, it might be too late for YouTube. If Twitch can just take advantage of the fact that they have a lot of people coming from YouTube, and the fact that Vidme has a good strong base right now, and just needs the viewers and the actual name to be shown, and they can make a really good stance and really take over YouTube and really make an attack on them as a whole. Of course, they still have to watch out for Google, as in Google can still mess with the search results as, we, as we've seen with Forbes and everything like that. But that's just something that we'll have to see in the future and see how they handle it. But the real way, though, that we can see them bypass if Google decides to do that as a, as a scummy way to try to withhold that YouTube stance is the fact that they can actually, with Vidme, if they grow strong enough, fast enough, they won't. it won't matter. They're going to be pushed to the top of search results and they're going to be so much content flowing through viewers and content creators that it doesn't matter and that overall the views will still be coming that's it for this video guys like i said before if you guys haven't already please be sure to comment down below what you guys think of the video if you enjoyed the video at all guys please be sure to hit the like button and if you're new to the channel guys be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already hit that bell button so you guys never miss an upload if you guys also please check out the links down in the description in the description you guys will see my twitter my discord and my twitch if you guys want to check that out please be sure to and also the link again to musical anti-hero great content creator over there and with that guys that's it for this video hope you all enjoyed have a great day i'm the religion nick and i'm out peace Yo!